In the development of this project, I was helped by PCBWay, which is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. If you want to make your own PCB for this project or for any other electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice. They have a large online community when, where you can find the open source project and you can also share your project there. From my personal experience, I can tell you that on this community, you can find many useful projects with already designed PCBs from uh, where you can place an order directly. To make an order for our custom PCB, we need to click on Quote Now. On the right side, you can see the place for ordering the PCBs for selected parameters. And on the left, there are additional options to tweak for your PCBs. So if you want your PCB, just type pcbway.com on your browser. Hello, Roulette is a casino game named after the French word meaning little wheel, which was likely developed from the Italian game Biraibi. In the game, a player may choose to place a bet on a single number, various group of numbers, the color red or black, uh, whether the number is odd or even, or if the numbers are high or low. To determine the winning number, a croupier spins well on the direct on the direction in one direction, then spins a ball in the opposite direction around the title circular track running around the outer edge of the wheel. There are two popular roulette wheels, American and European. The European wheel has only one zero. Uh, while the American uh, wheel has two zeros. Also, the number sequences uh, is different, are different. This time I will present you how to make an electronic version of European roulette where the movement of the ball is, is, of the ball is simulated by successive lighting of LEDs. Note that you can see the original project at given web page and I have only slightly modified the code by adding another level of spin duration. In one of my previous videos, I also presented Arduino roulette, but it was much more complicated and difficult to make. So this is my earlier version of roulette with 37 LEDs. And as you can see, in addition to the Arduino Nano microcontroller, it also contains a 574HC595 shift registers. And a lot of wires. This time is used the Char Charlie Pixeling technique, also knows, known as three-state three multiplexing, reducing pin count LED multiplexing, complementary LED drive, and cross-pixeling. This is a technique for, a, for driving a multiplexed display in which relatively few input-output pins on the microcontroller are used to drive a big array of LEDs. Thanks to this, to this technique, the 74HC595 shift registers are omitted this time and the device is incredibly simple to build. It contains only a few components. Uh, Arduino Nano microcontroller, 37 LEDs, 5 resistors, button, and speaker. And now a few words about the way of connecting the diodes. Uh, the first diode is connected directly to D11 pin and ground through a situable resistor. The remaining 36 diodes are divided into four groups of nine LEDs. Uh, the cathodes of each group through a resistor are connected to A1 to A4 analog pins of Arduino. The anodes of each group are connected sequentially and those nine terminals are connected to D2 to D10 pins of the Arduino. And now let's see how the device works in reality. 
After starting, four LED will rotate for a short period of time, after which one diode will remain lit. To turn the ball LED, uh, we have to press the button and at the moment we release it, the, it, release it the game starts. There are three levels that re regulate the duration of the ball spin. Uh, if the button is pressed for less than 0.5 seconds, the rotation speed is the lowest. Next, from 0.5 to 5 seconds, the rotation speed is normal. And finally, if we keep the button pressed for more than 5 seconds, it will take a maximum time to stop the ball. With each subsequent press, the ball rotates in the opposite direction. During the whole time, uh, during, during the whole time, uh, while the ball is moving, a characteristic sound is emitted through a speaker. Now let's try. In the following you can see the way in which the device is made. 